Welcome, it's About Town Dev, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk. I am so excited. Can you see Ooh, this amazing so set? Beautiful. Dream pilot film <laughs> in Sparks, Nevada. Britton Griffith, thank I'm you. I'm so excited. I think this is just, this is the premiere for Deb. It is. No, Finally. It's a, no, it's a premiere for all of us who have worked together. I've had so many community members who have been by my side, like yeah. you and Courtney and Cherie and Georgia. I can name everybody our whole I'm talking with my hands so just get used to that folks out there because I talk with my hands <laughs> and we have a lot of them with us today which <sighs> is so exciting for your first premiere episode I of know City Talk. so on the second when we come back from break mm -hmm. we are going to have Kim Surratt with Surratt Law Practice we are. Kim is one of my very best friends Kim has been with me since I, I used to stutter, guys, and I might stutter, so just it's okay if it happens, don't freak <laughs> out. But Kim has been there since the she's very so beginning. And too. she sponsored one of my first shows. She's here again. She's never left here my side. She's here for the kickoff. So she's going to be joining us. And then who else is joining we us? We have later? Cherie from Reno Food and Drink yes. Week, which is so exciting. If you want to talk about a Reno celebrity, right? We have somebody right there that is the champion for yes. local food and drink, which is so fantastic. And we have Lisa with Swizzle, oh, and know. we're just so excited. I want to hear more about her company. I know, she's already mentioned I don't have logos on We're going to get that. Just, she's going to fix that. We're, we're just saying she already specialist. pointed that out. <laughs> we're but, gonna um, get that also. So we just want to say thank you. I, I'm just, this is a new chapter. It is. As you, you may not know, um, as Debbie McCarthy about Tom Deb, I have been in the community for over 20 something years, but the last 12 years I've been doing marketing mm -hmm. and doing stuff like this and promoting our community and promoting long profits. That's how we met, it is. Volunteers, Volunteers of America. America. And that was how many years ago? At least 10. Yes, and we're still together. That's what is so cool about this. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the very beginning, with Courtney had introduced us as well. And Courtney would sit when I had the first radio show and my dad would be with her and we, they'd yeah, sit and Papa cheer me Eric. on. And Papa's hat, which you it's might right see when, when there's like a branding with my wine, Papa's hat is there because I want so him to sweet. be here today. But the main thing is we do, I do want to thank Design on Edge because Design on Edge, you have been with me they since are amazing. day one, day one. That's my camera. We're learning day one. <laughs> but this is good because I'm authentic and I'm real. And I just want you guys to That's know. That's why people love you. Uh, and I'm going to flip the script on you because no. sometimes you short talk yourself okay, well, and let all me of finish your accomplishments. The, let me just finish the thank you. Okay, you finish your thank you. Dream Pilot <laughs> Films. We got So Brandon has been like for the last few years, Debbie, you got to come over. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. And you know, you, timing is everything. It is. And mm -hmm. I felt like it was time. It was time to step it up. And when I told Courtney and she was here when we saw the set, she had like little tears and yeah. I had tears. And it just showed that if we all work together, we can all make a difference. But sponsor wise we are thanking Surat it's amazing law we are thanking dream pilot and we are also thanking design on edge so th oh and my mom grandma B we are yeah. thanking her because she literally purchased the set for us and that's she so bought sweet. lunch for us that's why it's special Texas. so it is so I just want to get that out so thank Good. you thank you thank you and I always start with a quote we're gonna do a quote yeah, and then, I'll, and then I will let you quote. start turning the tables <laughs> so here we go we may all come on different ships but we're in the same boat Martin Luther King. That's very sweet. I feel like that says it all for us right now. It Every does. one of us here that are waiting to come on the show, we're all different in our own ways. And I want you to realize that my logo or my brand is Together We're One Heart. Mm -hmm. So this show is about bringing community together. It's about sharing kindness, about sharing your story. We want to know your story. We want to know what's happening in the community and not just Reno and beyond. I do a lot in the wine country. You do do a lot in the wine country. So I'm going to stop talking because I think you said you <laughs> want to share something. So. I want to flip the script on Debbie because a lot of people are tuning in. Maybe this is your first time, so you don't know. Debbie is an acclaimed writer, photographer. You won Addie's Professional Woman of the year and you've given back to so many things so when you talk about you know the boat quote which is so fantastic the you know when all we're all rising together and when COVID happened you did so much reaching out feed our heroes we have those bracelets that might see the, uh, the blue bracelets around town and it was a beautiful thing that came out of a really tragic thing and I think that's something that you bring to the table everywhere you go so shelter from the storm volunteers of America all the things you've done for small businesses and it just goes on and goes on so I am so honored to be here with you today as I know our guests that are coming on as well are and thank you to the sponsors but thank you for you I think that this has just been a path that we've all been following you on and we're all thankful to be a part of it I have goosebumps. Thank you. <laughs> um, yes, I'm very, I'm very honored, guys, and I'm very grateful to be sitting here today. And everybody in this room, um, you're a part of it. So you're a part of day one with the brand new format of City Talk 
with About Town Deb, and um, we do have different hosts on different weeks, if you don't know, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping we can get Britain to come a little bit more, at least once a quarter, at least. Um, <laughs> we have um, we have Amber Hale, who comes once a I month. I just love Amber. And we have like Yvonne Murphy, mm -hmm. and she comes once a month, and sometimes we get Bill Brown. So we have a lot of different people who are like gonna be here There's sitting. a lot going on. There's a lot going on in our town. So I, I just, again, I'm not sure how many, much time we have left, so I'm just gonna wing it here. We are gonna take our first break. We are gonna take our first break. And before we do, you look so fantastic. Oh, before I come back next time, I wanna look as stylish <laughs> and incredible as you. I noticed you have Dolce & Gabbana shoes. Yes, from and labels. And a Millie dress and Cartier earrings. earrings. Where on earth can you get all these three things? Where do you think? I'm labels. Labels. In Reno course. on First Street. It's all, and you know what? Labels is local. You know, we, are. we only do local. We do it's all do about local. local out there. Whatever town you're listening from, Local, local, local. It's really important. It. And Blythe is the Silas of the century and all of the region. <laughs> she's, so, she's there, pops on the river, she's so there for everything. You want me to say a little secret? I do. <laughs> want to hear a secret. Other people will hear it now, but it's, I do want to okay. hear it. No, because when I go into Blythe, mm -hmm. and I, I'm never prepared, right? So I'm in there. She, I have on like my little blue wristband and my watch that doesn't match. And I have on a... Um, a uh, Brawless, what are you, a half bra, what are they called? A bralette? A bra, no, no, a, ha, a, a strapless. <laughs> oh, a strapless. I had a strapless bra on, and she looked at me and she's like, you can't, you have to go to Victoria's Secrets. You've got to, you have to redo your whole wardrobe. So I gotta tell you, Blythe is so honest, and I love that so one. So she dressed you head to toe. Oh, she literally said, you have to go get this, you gotta get this, take off that watch. So if you need a stylist, Blythe is your one. Blythe will get you. I'm just being real, guys. I'm trying to say it. that I'm not like, that and I And you know. have your signature braids today. I do, by Caliber. So we I have Trace, them. and um, Trace is the head honcho there. He's, yes. He's yeah. amazing. And then we have Megan Lawrence um, does my braids as we, we have so that. Great. And then we have Maddie who um, does my makeup. So yeah. So you check them out. Reno, you've hit all of the. I've hit all the local all spots. All the local districts I only, and everything I'm, to get only your about stuff. Local, and that's so. why you look like you're on the red carpet today. Well, thank you. So ready for the next segment ready with for Kim the next Surratt. Segment? I so do. That's our first break. I know. So stay tuned. It's About Town Dev with City Talk. Got Britain here and Kim is going to come up and we might sample my wine. So <laughs> stay tuned. Welcome back. It's About Town Dev and City Talk. I have Britton Griffith, my co-host, so Kim excited. Surratt. Surratt Law Practice. Hello, my friend. Just bring, it in. bring it in. <laughs> so happy you're here. So we mentioned before, a little teaser in the beginning, that Kim has been part of my life for many years. And, and I'll let even Kim tell a little secret how when she first met me, I could barely say my name. But I want everybody to understand that anything is possible, guys. We, you can accomplish anything. And there's been many people that have told me, hey, you are not gonna succeed. Not gonna happen. But you know what? All the other people around me says, you got this? No joke. I got it. So that's a big deal for you to say I got it. I know, and here I you know. are. I I'm just so said it on air. But Kim, will you, you more? <laughs> I, I'm gonna get yeah. tears. I'm gonna choke up. It's really hard because um, it was 13 years ago. It was 2010 when I started my radio program, Family Matters, which I don't do anymore. I, had, I don't have enough time. You can just come <laughs> on here and make it will matter. But yeah, you know, you were starting to experiment a little bit with being on the radio, and you just kept telling me you couldn't, and I just kept telling you, baloney. You can. <laughs> you can. And you were stuttering a lot. It was a lot, guys. A Just lot. so you know, I could not, like, they would have to cut. They would see my throat get really tight. And, you know, the engineer would go cut. And then he, you know, he wouldn't say cut. But he would, like, change the subject or Start go to over. the next person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you it, know, but I grew up with somebody who stuttered. And I used to have a teacher who made fun of her all the time. And it would make terrible. it worse. Oh, I had, listen. And yeah. I told Deb, I said, I know the answer. The answer is the second I jump in or we talk together, you're going to get past it. And it worked. It yeah. worked. And because uh, it used it to going, work with my friend until I got sent to the principal's office. You know? <laughs> but, you know, um, I, I just think I think people need to know that. I'm, I'm sure I'm not it. the only one who's overcome it. And I'm saying it can happen in two minutes from now. So it's not it's not ever gone. 
But that's why you have Kim here. That's why I have Kim and you and everybody here. But no, so that when I first started, guys, I was, I, I, yes, I was perky dad, but I wasn't as confident. But again, surrounding yourself with like-minded people and people that build you up. That's really what the show's about, is about bringing us together and supporting each other, man or women, kids, whatever. We need to be a team. So when you talk together, you can achieve anything. I know. Right? Communication. There you go. Yeah. That's Everything. Like together we are one. Together, together we, we are, are one. one. And who would have thought? When I told Courtney we want to do this, Courtney goes, well, do you think it's just going to be for COVID? I'm like, nope. No. I am going to continue it. So if you hashtag together we're one heart with a heart, you'll, um, you'll see the hashtags. But I also, Kim, I would love you to share a little bit about, well, we know how we met, but you have an amazing career, amazing son, a great boyfriend. She just said <laughs> fixes dinner every night. But, you know, tell us a little bit about your story of how you got to where you were. Well, I'm, I'm an attorney. Yeah. That always sounds like a bad word sometimes. No, you're, but, a, you're the good um, ones. <laughs> well, it, I'm a family law attorney. My firm does family law and estate planning. But uh, I, early in my career, hated family law, quite honestly. It was miserable. It was, um, it'll put you in your grave. It'll make you it's an alcoholic. Tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's real tough. Because when we say family law, we're talking divorce. We're talking child custody, abuse and neglect. Um, all of the nasty things you can think of in the practice of law. And, but I was doing a lot of adoption work and I was doing a lot of assisted reproduction law. And of course, um, anybody that knows Debbie knows she's been on the radio, she's been on her programs talking about adoption. Yep. And that's where Deb and I started to really um, unite, and, unite and connect is over her adoption story. And the more that unfolded and the more information you found on it, of course. But uh, I did swear, actually, it was right when I started doing, met you, it was 2010. I said I was going to make a career out of doing nothing but family formation law, making families, not breaking families. That's incredible. Isn't that yeah. good? And so you spent a, a lot of time. And guess what? You I what? don't have to do any of the other work anymore. <laughs> you have an amazing, amazing team around you. That's yes. what it's about. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Kim had mentioned adoption. So um, Grandma B, who I gave a shout out to, um, and she's listening and she's just let you know I love you. And to be um, a young mom and have to make a decision to find a home for your child is a really tough decision. And she made that tough decision and she found Terry and Tony, um, who you may know, Papa Tony, Reno. Mm -hmm. And they took me in and they still kept Grandma B, my mom, Brenda, as part of my family. So um, I feel like this whole show for me, it's like I've come full circle and um, I don't want the circle to complete. I want to just keep going. That's the point of the circle. That's it's the point of the circle. circle. We're just going to keep going. But um, so, and then I had infertility issues. So I can relate to a lot of you women out there. <laughs> so um, I adopted my oldest son, Josh. So I can relate to you guys on any level you need. I am here for you. Whether it's a speech thing, whether it's being nervous, being stressed out, all of that. Adoption, infertility, I got you covered. I, I'm, I'm your girl. But, but Kim, that was really nice. But it nice. caused a lot of history behind us. Yeah. A lot of shows. Yeah. But my radio, your radio, internet, you name it. We've done a lot together in that front. So it's a special journey. And you guys spent a lot of time in wine country. So yeah. let's, well, I think we need to do a I cheers to a cheers amazing to women. So let's grab a glass. And this is my About Town Deb Sauvignon Blanc out of the Sierra Foothills. So Crystal Basin um, was kind enough to offer me a red blend and a white wine so I that them. I could um, be a part, share it with our community and a portion goes to Northern Nevada Children's Cancer Foundation. Yes, which is So very cheers to Northern Nevada <laughs> Children's. I got a stretch. So I don't know. Anyway, so let's, you have to have a sip or you can't do a cheers, right? Correct. I think that's well, part I'm of a that. member of Crystal Basin for a reason. And so, yes. Yeah. Stuff is good. <laughs> yeah, so, so it, you know. Oh, I've got lots of it. <laughs> She's got lots of it. But the cool thing is that the El Dorado wine country literally is you go over 50, you go over 80, and I've spent many, probably 11, 12 years building that relationship. So Courtney, again, see Courtney's a big part of my whole story, just so you know. She would rather be behind the scenes, but I just want her to know, because we, she, she had decided it was time for a new business card. So she designed a new business card, and she goes, that'll make a cool wine label. So she made a wine label, and I'm like, why do I need a wine label? And she goes, because you're going to need a wine. Yeah. It works. So it works. So we spend a lot of our time. time. <laughs> so, I, so I literally went to Mike Owen and I said, well, Courtney made me a wine label. I need a wine. And then it worked. And he said, I got a wine. Kismet. 
and it was also in memory of my dad. So that's, that's why sweet. my dad's hat's back there. And my dad had said to me before he passed, I just want you to love and I want you to bring people together. And if you love and you're kind and you share your heart, you'll succeed. Mm -hmm. So cheers again to that. all of cheers, you out cheers. there who have been a part of my life. So And we know how to get it. But how, if you're going to watch the show oh. next time, how can you well, get one? The simplest and then way. we can cheers them. Okay. You together. can actually go to abouttowndeb.wine <laughs> or crystalbasin.com. But abouttowndeb.wine. It's, it's easy. And a dollar of every glass that you buy online goes directly to, well, to me, but then I donate it to Children's Cancer. Which you've done so much for. Yeah. So and this then, is one more puzzle And then piece. if you buy it um, at a, a local establishment, which we're redoing the list, 15% goes. And so, then if so you great. really want to have fun, <laughs> drive over the mountain. Just, yeah, go see it in person go in see real it life. In person. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's a it's beautiful country. People only think of Napa. They don't think of that I know. area. And it's so close for us. Oh, it's oh, so two hours and well, when yeah. Georgia drives, it's two hours. I don't know. <laughs> Well, she those drives. of you in California, it doesn't stop you either. You can right, go just to this go right region on instead. Yeah. So we have two minutes left in the segment. So Kim, again, thank you for always being my friend, my mentor. <laughs> you can make me cry. I know. And sponsoring. Oh. And so sponsoring. we're just going to do a little shout out. We are. This is our brand new show <laughs> with our new format at Dream Pilot Films. And we are going to be hosting many amazing women like him and men that are really um, doing great things in the community and not just our community, your community. If you want to fly here, we'll get you on. But we are looking for sponsors and advertisers and we'd love to have you join our team. But Kim is officially the very first one and Design on Edge <laughs> and Dream Pilot. So cheers to Kim. Cheers to cheers all Cheers to Design on Edge and Dream Pilot. <laughs> and um, Britain, we're going to have another, who's coming up We're going to have, yeah, we have Cherie coming on for Reno Food and Drink Week, and which is so great. And, and Lisa I, with Swizzle, I, so we're going to learn a lot more. Yeah. And yeah, thanks to Kim. And I didn't know that story about you two. That's a fantastic <laughs> pathway that got you here. I knew that you'd been friends forever, but that's a lot of ways yep. that you are connected over and we're the also decade connected plus. with the, we do a lot of wine trips so we also mm -hmm. do wine trips guys <laughs> we also actually we host wine trips to el dorado oh. where we'll get a beautiful house that we can rent and we go on we get private wine tastings you get to meet the winemakers you get to have nibbles and it's fun and oh it's more than fun it's okay. more than and fun explain, yeah you yeah and when jim goes he cooks just so you know <laughs> <laughs> that's the amazing boyfriend that's the amazing there boyfriend. You go. Yep. Well, I think he's yep. more than a boyfriend. So, <laughs> so speaking, we have a we're wrapping it up. Wrapping so we're up. gonna keep it real. We're gonna wrap it up. And Kim, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And I'm honored to just be your friend. Oh, well, I'm honored to be your friend. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. It's About Town Deb. Debbie McCarthy with City Talk. I'm so excited to be at Dream Pilot Films in Sparks, Nevada. Such a big day for me. It's our very first show, and I have like amazing friends that are here to hold my hand or to, you know, give that that little <laughs> glare like I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. <laughs> you. So gotcha. Britton Griffith, co-host today, so first show. How cool to have you here with me. It's amazing, and we have some stellar guests that came with yes. us. We have Lisa and Cherie. Yes. So Cherie, we're gonna kick off with you because we just got to do some wine tasting. And you are the queen of Reno food and <laughs> drink locally. So I know that you've tasted the wine, but what else do you have going on? And if people don't know about it, just give us a little bit. Give us a sample of what you're oh, up to. Oh my goodness. So I'm very excited to announce that Reno Food and Drink Week has started. Already And here. it's so exciting. We have 70 locations that are 70. participating. 70. Is yes. that just Reno? Yeah, Reno Sparks. And, and, and we have one out in Virginia City. I saw that. Which oh, that's is so, so great. exciting. The Gold Tail Hotel yep. has a that restaurant. That is so fun. There. Um, called Crown Point I Restaurant. I love that restaurant. And they are the oldest hotel in Nevada. That's right, they are. Um, and they have just a really wonderful menu that they're um, they're going to offer to people that come out from June 5th through 16th, um, which is when Reno Food and Drink Week is happening. And um, they're very excited to have everybody. And we have a special raffle that is happening with them. So mm. oh, I anyone who goes out 
two takes the takes the jaunt out to the I Gold Hill Hotel and submits a feedback form, take, gets into I, a special raffle. That I, I think like they need one. to go and stay the night, guys. Oh my gosh, they you, absolutely you should. Because yeah. Virginia yeah. City is mm -hmm. incredible. I have spent a night there, and it's a little haunted. And it's haunted. It is, it is, it is it's haunted. haunted. It is haunted. It is haunted. Yeah. 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 But that's great. Mm -hmm. So, so Cherie, do I yeah. just, do I go on your site? How do, do we, I? Like, yeah. So I'm, I'm really interested in the Gold Hill, but I want to oh see 70 places. 70 places. I yeah. I can't I, even name them all. Um, so um, I probably could have pressed, but that would be uh, that's okay. sad. Um, it's at renofoodanddrinkweek.com. Okay. Or you can follow us on social media at Reno Food Week. And there's lots that. of social media. I got to say your team and a lot of your hard work, your heart, your soul, your sweat has gone into this. So tell us a little bit about how it got started mm -hmm. and why it's so important to our community. So, you know, we, we launched, this is our fourth year, and so we launched during so COVID. Awesome. And yeah. um, Lisa <laughs> Cook has been my partner time, the whole entire time. She is my um, my biggest sponsor and oh, supporter and biggest fan. And, oh. biggest fan. and I am her biggest fan, so we're like fangirling right here. We're all fangirling. Um, <laughs> But you know, we um, we used to have a program in Reno that was called Reno Bites, and it, mm -hmm. it um, sunsetted in 2018. And so, when it did, um, I had a friend um, mention to me Tiffany East. I don't yeah, know. I love Tiffany, Tiffany East. But she, we were at a barbecue one day, sitting around the fire, and she was like, "You should do a food week." And I was <laughs> like, "No." <laughs> no, I'm never doing that. That is not something I'm going to do. Now look at her. And then um, I got a chance to sit down with Natasha Borland and Clint Jolly. Yeah. who had done Reno I Bites. I know, we love them. Um, and it, it was a different format then. It was more event-based. And um, then I sat down with Mark Esty and said, okay, yep. well, fine. If I'm going to do this, you have to support me because <laughs> yeah. nobody knows anything about this, you know, at this point. Mm -hmm. And so um, he said, I'll do it, but if you do it, <laughs> Only if you do it the way that other sit large cities do it, sure. which is what the plan was. And that is that um, all I do really is market it. I market these locations and you as a um, local or visitor to the area just goes in and orders the special. Let's so them know that they are um, easy. They're and loved there and wanted. for Reno Food and Drink Week and yeah, and then enjoy the food. So. It's all about getting people out to places that they haven't been to in a while or places they've never been to. So you can create like your own food tour. Yeah. Girls' night out. Yep. Date night. Date yep. night. Just get as many in and one day as possible, Absolutely. maybe. Because yep. you could do breakfast, yep. lunch, and dinner yep. and yep. drinks, right? Yes, you could. Yes. So you could start mm -hmm. them. You can just yep. do a whole day of food. You day absolutely of it. can. And yeah. get to try things that normally aren't on the menu. That's what's I was just going to say nice. that. Yeah. So the, the items, the menus are created just for the food week. Just so you may never get them again. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. So the chefs and mixologists and brewers and yeah. all of them are, are making something exclusive for the week. And well, actually 12 days. It used to be only a week. This year it's 12 well, days. Well, with 70 places, I think. We <laughs> had to expand, you know, um, we, seven days was just not enough. And I don't know if 12 days is either, but I always tell people this is a great, um, you know, try to get to as many as you can. Mm -hmm. um, but even if you can't, this is a great list of really good community supporters, really That's solid true. restaurants. Not that other ones aren't because our community is just full of are, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, food and drink establishments that really are supportive of everything. And they yeah. really want you in there and they want your feedback and they want you to try their food and and to um, have the opportunity to get to know you. It's exciting. I think that's what's cool about our local, well, any of our local restaurants. Usually you will get to meet the chef, you get to meet the owner. Mm -hmm. They will come up and say, hey, you know, how was the food? Can I, you know, can we change this or do this? Mm -hmm. What do you like? And I love that when I would go in and I used to take my dad, Papa Tony, when we'd go out and sample different restaurants and he became Papa Tony Reno. They're like, hey, Papa, <laughs> sit down. You want a drink? You want a dessert? I'm like, hello, where's me? Over here. But that's what it's like in Reno. And it's very, we have such a great community. We um, really do. So how did you even find your first main sponsor? How did, how did that work? Gosh, you know, Lisa, uh, Lisa has uh, been <laughs> a... Lisa, um, Lisa. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because she has been a huge supporter of step two and oh, um we're going to talk fantastic. about step two on another segment yes we are but i am um my day job is i'm the chief marketing officer at step two and so um lisa has been a huge supporter of step two since forever before i even came on to step two and um so naturally um as one of step two's biggest supporters i i, I 
reached out to Lisa I, right I off the bat and said, the "Hey, are yeah. you interested in in sponsoring this new event yes. that we don't know how it's going to go? And would you do all of the print and promotional <laughs> products for me? Me. Okay, yeah. that's a leap yeah. of faith. Yeah. <laughs> she Swizzle, said yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Swizzle jumped on board. We are all about supporting the community. Um, we are all about supporting local. We're all about restaurants and supporting restaurants, supporting the people who work at restaurants. You, you know, I, one of my go-to sayings is." is tip heavy tip yes favors, please no i i but agree that's fantastic everyone yes. we all have to lift each other up. yeah see that's kind of what we've been talking about that yeah, makes sense i was i jumped on the opportunity um you know i i get some perks too because i get to go on these tasting ah. <laughs> which are so much fun we get to go yeah. and we get to yeah taste each i agree item mm -hmm. so the weeks leading up to food week for me are just as fun as, as food week i love it no yeah, it's that's really a good cool. bookshelf yeah. for you yeah. 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 and for it's each great. thing that's yeah. fantastic it is. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to sneak in a quote because it kind of goes with what mm -hmm. you were just saying. Well, it kind of goes with it. So it is, motivation comes from working on things we care about. It also comes from working with people we care about. Cheryl Sandberg. And I got to so say, sweet. you just said it all. You just totally said it all. And that's, I think, what we mm -hmm. all do in our lives, whether it's our day job, our heart, our nonprofit work, our family, our neighborhood, our community, our state. It's that we care. Yeah. And I just think it's tremendous that you jumped in, leap of faith. And that's kind of what I do. People say, Deb, you want help? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I find out, okay, I guess this is going to take a few hours. But we're almost done with this segment. But I, but I, I want to go to Lisa here because, Lisa, you're, um, I was checking out your website. And you're really... Um, you're all about your, your work family and you're very, you're about your community family. But I also noticed that you have like some doggies in oh, your office her family. and Britain, <laughs> Britain does a lot with um, pets and kitties yeah. and doggies. So tell us a little bit about why that's so important to you. Um, I believe that dogs are part of our family mm -hmm. and I'm okay with everyone coming to the office, everyone working at the office when they want to come and go, and I'm especially okay with everyone bringing their dogs. I love that. We also support a lot of local nonprofits, one of them, Paws for Love, the local I love that. Yes. So we invite them to come to our office and we invite oh, our very clients. Sweet. We always tell our clients, A, there may be a dog or two there, B, there may be dogs coming and going. Mm -hmm. C, please bring your dog. I'm going to come work from your office. I know. Everybody's going to want to. I love it. It just, it just it puts everyone at ease. When you walk mm -hmm. in and there's a dog there, it's an instant icebreaker. Yeah. And it also helps with creativity. You know, we're always trying to think of sustainable promotional products, a print, apparel, all of those things that don't end up in a landfill. It's yeah. super important to us. We really don't want to sell you a stress ball that's going to end up in a landfill. It's yeah. super important. So that creativity comes in half the time playing with the dog is when we come up with our <laughs> it ideas. It sparks, yeah. It sparks. It's, it's much better than staring at your monitor. That's yeah, no sure. kidding. No, I totally like that. Yeah. But also with your brand, your brand is about telling a story. Yes. So yes. how did you come up with that? Was so that we found that a lot of companies were just going out and buying apparel, promotional products, and they didn't tell a story. And we really think it should tell a story sure. about your company, not just the T-shirt you wear or the polo that you wear. We want the employees to feel comfortable in what mm -hmm. they're wearing if it's branded. We want people not to shove that in the back of their Right, clothes. actually wear, wear it, it. And, be, <laughs> and be proud. Wear it. Yes. Well, I think so that's amazing you do that. We're almost out of time, so I'd love you both to give your websites how we can get in touch with both of you, because I know that 70 places is a lot. I and know. I'm going to try to go to places that I haven't been. Good. Because you know, exactly what you should do. I should do that, yeah. but I, yeah. I'm kind of a creature of habit. But I'm going to try to go to at least five new places. Yes, maybe ten. I love that. I maybe, think you should. Maybe, maybe this is the perfect opportunity 30. to do that. Not try thirty. New. No, if I say thirty, I'm fifty. I will not make thirty. I can honestly five. say five. I can honestly say five. So, you, um, Lisa, one more time, your contact, and then um, we're going to. My name is Lisa Cook. I'm with Swizzle. Our website is swizzlestory.com, and you may email me at lisa at swizzlestory.com. Thank you. Well, thank I you so it. much. We're going to take um, a break. We come yes. back. Cherie's going to be, um, you know, chatting about some cigars and whiskey and <laughs> all that kind of good stuff. So hang tight. Thank you both, but you're going to hang out with us. We'll be right back. It's About Town Deb and Britain with City Talk. Hi. My name is Brandon Bianco and I own Dream Pilot Films here in Reno. I founded this company in 2016 with a mission to help people, organizations and businesses become unstoppable towards reaching their goals through cinematic video and high quality photography. 
We've worked on both sides of the camera, producing commercials, events, documentaries, social media content, weddings, music videos, YouTube series, reality, short films, as well as many other types of projects. But we're more than just a video production company. We also have a print marketing division, graphic and web design, as well as a social media management department. Our goal is to help you market your brand through any of our departments in a way that helps you stand out above the rest and impress your clients and audience. The digital age is here, and we can boost your visibility to where it needs to be to compete with the leaders in your industry. We look forward to putting our talents to use and push your message forward. Welcome back. It's About Town Deb with City Talk. I'm here with Britton Cherie still with us. And we are here thanks to our amazing sponsors with Surrett Law Practice, Design on Edge, and Dream Pilot Films. Without them, and without you guys listening, we wouldn't be here. So we're gonna, like, you will, as you tune in each week, you're gonna realize that yeah. we're gonna be highlighting local spirits, because we're all about local. And we walk the walk, not just talk we the walk, talk. We walk, we actually, <laughs> we're gonna we sip, we're gonna tree, sip the sip. Tree. We're gonna <laughs> sip the sip. <laughs> So um, I was just trying to think with, you know, Cherie, with the, the, the food and drink week, you've, you have connections with all the restaurants, all the distilleries, all the breweries, all the wineries, everything. You're there, 70. So out of 70, there's yeah. got to be, I'm sure yes. that Frey Ranch is probably in one of these. So Frey Ranch tell is, us about Frey uh, Ranch. It is absolutely <laughs> a part. And um, we're just getting ready to announce the pop-ups that they're going to be doing <gasps> this year. They do so pop-up um, tastings at several locations each year Ooh. for Reno Food and Drink Week, and they are a, a huge sponsor as well um, of Reno Food and Drink Week. I love them. I am thrilled that their whiskey is as good as it is no because I will good. tell you, right. I was out locally, there yeah. when they first put it in whiskey barrels, and I thought, I was too. Good Lord, please let this be good. Please let <laughs> this be good. That would be bad if it's local. It's and local. you're like, I'm going to love it anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink it, no matter what. No matter what, but, so good thing, good thing um, it's good. It is amazing, it has won awards, they've won awards, and you know, Ashley and Colby are just amazing people. Really, truly, their whole team out there is great. They're fabulous, and it's a beautiful tour. It's, it's a, a beautiful tour. Yeah. They, they just really have such a wonderful place out there that they've done, and, and it's really wonderful to see local families like that yeah i like do family well. owned and mm -hmm. we love family owned mm -hmm. and you know yeah. when they very first started it was wine yes yes i was there at the very beginning and i actually when when they first started the um the the fray ranch i got to actually like mix up the whatever the stuff is i don't know the the wheat the rye oh, what yes. is it whatever it's called <laughs> but no I, i've spent many hours out there and really they are a family mm -hmm. you know it's family owned and i love that it's um sustainable mm -hmm. so you yes. could talk a little bit about that and i'd love yeah. can we sample some yes, yes. <laughs> so but, I'm hold on wait wait excited. wait oh, i think you forgot something oh well yes you forgot cigars i did i actually what the heck? didn't get a chance brandon. to grab my cigars brandon so help yes. help we need cigars thank goodness brandon stopped by ruiz have a cigars seat. today that's yes right. and brought in some cigars for us that's right i uh you know can't do many things well but i can drink and smoke and uh, oh, that we'll sounds say, good <laughs> there's uh, if you enjoy uh you know bourbon or some whiskey some of the good free ranch uh, spirits then you'll enjoy some of these uh, fine cigars which yes, yes they were purchased from ruiz cigars yeah. so tell um, us about about, and tell us about that, but it's unusual to have women in whiskey. And women in and cigars. Women in cigars. Yes. So I'm just gonna lay those right there because we can't light them up in the studio. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, not, not, not today, sadly. So that's another segment off, off, off site. site. Yes. That's, that's a Frey Ranch that's segment. We'll do that, yes, That's a Frey, Ranch. okay, Kobe, they Ashley, do. we'll be calling you. They yeah, would love that. Yeah, we can do it out at Frey. So when you do a tasting yeah. and picking the cigars, how, how would you guys do that? Because I'd love to sample something. Yes, so, so I'm gonna, it? I'm gonna, I'll, I'm just gonna quickly say what we what, have here. Okay. We've got um, their rye, which is my absolute favorite. We've got a reserve, and then we've got their um, regular bourbon. And that one's mine. Um, As you yes. can see, I drank yes. some of it. I know <laughs> we brought them in. We've been sampling here. This is probably my like eighth bottle of rye. So I know. That's why I guess the one I have at home. Full, but. 
Um, and I am super excited to give Debbie well, and Brittany yes. these new glasses. I'm going to fill them, though. Oh, fill them. Yes, yes, fill them. So, so what are we trying really first? Really quickly, what would you like to try? I want the reserve. I figured you might. If I want whatever Brandon, fancy are you reserve have any Sheree of this? has. I mean, I'll have one of right. uh, those. I'm going to fill them. Okay, so what, what was the end one? What was the, the bigger one? Rye. Rye. This one's the rye. That's the one I have at home, but this is the fancy. I want Do fancy. you want the reserve, I want, too? I want okay, fancy. I say we go I'm wearing a fancy dress I'll from tell labels. You, these, <laughs> these reserve bottles go quick, so you have to really grab one quickly before um, they are gone. You can get them at Whispering Vine. Oh, we have oh. another glass coming. Come on oh, for yes, Brandon. Here we go. Bring it on Good. in. Come on. We're, we're keeping here it real we here. <laughs> All right. We're keeping it. So as Cherie said, you could have whiskey out of anything. That's a wine can. glass, a coffee you mug, can have it out of, a Dixie cup. Well, no, not a Dixie thing. cup. Not a Dixie cup, because it might, like... I mean, you could have it out of a Dixie cup. You guys have to cup, drink it fast. I will say, this is not <laughs> something you shoot. This is not what? a shooting whiskey. That's this a is morning. a sipping whiskey. Okay, so, okay. Cherie, since so uh, both said, of you, who would like to tell us the appropriate way to sample this? I mean, I, uh, I I know probably much less than she knows, but uh, <laughs> but I do know that you want to let the aromas kind yep. of uh, saturate. You know, yes. you drink it, you can get more flavors if you drink it warm, uh, but then oh. kind of suck in a little bit yep. of air and taste the those, uh, complexity of the yep. spirit. Yep. And so. I drink mine always neat. Um, so what that does that mean? What does that mean? Without any ice in it. Oh, okay. Um, and so and then it stays warmer. Yep, it just, it's a little warmer. I generally prefer my whiskey that way. Now... You may also add a couple of drops of water. Sometimes that opens up different oh, I like that big, fat ice cube. Or you can I have it too. on the rocks. With I, the I like the big ice rock. Cube. So there's many ways. And I, don't, I tell people all the time, there's no wrong way. <laughs> Can we sample? Can I yes, try? Yes. There's cheers. no wrong way for whiskey. She just no, chat, cheers. Cheers. Yes. I can't reach cheers. all the way, so I'm going to do a cheers. high cheers. cheers. I love our new glasses. Food and Drink 2023 week. There are only 50 of those. Oh, there thank are. you. Oh, my God. I'm so honored. I think they make the whiskey taste Swizzle, better. Um, created those oh, for us. Yeah. So when you... um. Breathe. <laughs> it was a little powerful there. <laughs> That's a little hot for you. It's like... Right? It is. So you want to... Warm Show me again. Yes. What was the breathe in? If I breathe in, I might choke. Like, so you're like, gonna you're gonna smell you, it. Okay. So what I meant was uh, <laughs> just suck in a little bit of air with your inside your mouth and oh, kind of get that. Oh, as you're drinking yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then kind of. So I always smell it first. <laughs> I just feel like this hotness yeah, going down. Warm inside. <laughs> mm. And then you can kind of roll it around in your mouth a little bit. Get the all di the different flavors. You want to hit all the different okay sensors in your tongue. So and tell then, tell us about our sensors. So well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what do you have? Sweet, sweet, sour, sour, sour salty, salty, cheesy, crunchy, chewy. Yeah. Oh, I like exactly. cheesy, crunchy. Exactly. We're, Sweet we're and salty. Not, we're not, you know, we're not. But experts see, but that, but see, it, but. that is what's good about our show is that yes. you can just be anybody and listen, and yeah. you're gonna understand us. Yeah. If you can understand Debbie talk, you can understand anything. <laughs> This, uh -huh. Seriously. I know. Okay, so Miss Britton, what do you I think? I tried what it. Think? I liked it. It does warm you up from the inside. It oh, really I, does. I feel but it. But I yes. could see now why Sheree would be like the queen of cigars and whiskey because you sit outside <laughs> at a barbecue or you said yeah. the wedding, they had one. Yeah, my brother's wedding. Ruby's so actually rolled cigars there um, for all of us. And it was amazing. It was just a, such a cool experience. Mm. So it's, talk about a good sunset. It really is, oh. you know, and I think that's one of the things that I really love about whiskey and cigars. I was into whiskey, um, and then my brother was into cigars, and I brought him whiskey, and he brought me cigars, oh. <laughs> um, and it just really pairs well, but it's really about the experience of it all, yeah. right? It's not, like I said, this is a sipping whiskey. Like, you know, I have a tiny bit in my glass, and yeah. I'll, I'll sip on that for probably a good half hour. No, I agree. Uh, 45 minutes while I'm smoking a good cigar, mm -hmm. and... Um, I like it's you know, a family affair. It, it is a it family is. affair. Because yeah. it is. It's yep. a very experience, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, really so is. a question for Britain. Have you d smoked a cigar? You know what? I have smoked a cigar. I have too. But not in a very long time. Oh. It was actually at a wedding was the last time yep. I smoked ah. a cigar. So that must be a trend. It's kind of a trend, yeah. <laughs> but if I do smoke a cigar, smoker. it would be with Sheree. Because well, she I actually, sm I I actually smoked a cigar with you, you at Frey did. Ranch. Yes, you did. Yes, we, were, mm -hmm. we took a bunch of photos. We had the cigar. We did, we did a big yeah, photo so shoot. Yeah, so you did yeah. the pairing. I did yeah. the, we did, thanks mm -hmm. to Sheree, 
because she yeah. brought the cigars. The cigars weren't yeah. part of the plan, but of course she brings <laughs> them. Sure. And I think the very first cigar I had was with Angelo and Peggy, my friends. They always do barbecues, and it's by the fire pit, and they bring out a good whiskey or some wine. I like to get the girly cigars that are thin, oh, that have like a vanilla yep. flavor, yep. and then I take the bottom of it, and I put it in the whiskey or that, and yeah. then I take the flavor. Oh, it's so good. That's how I do it. Yes. I'm but okay, I had I'll to stop because I had a cough thing going on, but now I'm almost better, so I'll be ready to celebrate when <laughs> I can have a cigar because I can't have it. So we're down to a minute. So I would love you to tell us again about how we get in touch with you for the Reno Food and Drink Week. RenoFoodandDrinkWeek.com and um, on social media at Reno Food Week. Your social media is very fun to follow. She, oh, so she's everywhere. So you get a lot of information with yes. a lot of glamour. And since we stuff. have Brandon here, yes. mm -hmm. It's thanks to you and your team that we are even sitting here. So it's this beautiful. is the Brandon mm. we've been talking about. <laughs> so I would like to cheers to you because thank without you. your dedication and you keeping plugging me and Joe Dutra, we gotta thank Joe. Cause Joe literally said to me, you have to do this. And so he like sent you this email and said, Deb really wants to do it, but blah, blah, blah. And so he, <laughs> he pushed me off the edge, Joe Dutra. And Joe Dutra <laughs> will be here in a couple of weeks. You'll get That's to meet Joe. So um, we're gonna finish this segment and then we're gonna come back for the final segment. We're gonna have a little bit of Tahoe Blue to cheers the oh. rest of the day. But thank you so much, Brandon, and your whole team who's here today and the patience and the kindness that you're showing. It's my pleasure. And we're gonna be all over the place. So we're gonna wrap it up, be right back for our last segment. One of my goals was to start posting photos without filters, but I don't have to now. I could go out without makeup now and feel confident. You know, I picked Hall and Rye because I knew I could trust. Everything just went smoothly. They're just so calming and they help you and they're there with you. You need to feel good about yourself from the inside out. And if you need a little bit of help, it's okay. Feel good, be confident. And if you need that little extra Hall and Rye help, go ahead and do it and be proud of it. Welcome back. It's About Town Deb, co-host Britton Griffiths, Cherie right here, been on the show. We're so happy. I'm just excited, guys. I just thank you, thank you to all of you. This is our first day in our new studio, our new set. And so beautiful. thanks to Surratt oh, Law, Dream Pilot Films, Design on Edge. Courtney, as I said, has been by my side since the very beginning mm -hmm. when I didn't even know who I was. We didn't even have the About Town Deb logo. We were just Deb. Debbie, Debbie, <laughs> well, Nevada, Nevada matters, America matters. But you know, we all need to start and I don't want to ever forget where we started. So Nevada matters, mm -hmm. they just were starting up and my dad was with me every day on set. That's right. Yeah, he would go with me oh, and right. I said, no, 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 I'll take photos. So this is why I love this. Cause you I would were take, big on the photos. I took photos at, on the show. Mm -hmm. And one of my very first t photos is why I have Tahoe Blue as my Deb's pick for today because they were just literally starting mm -hmm. out. They didn't have a budget, they, didn't, they, were, they were brand new, and they said, Deb, can you come? They were doing an event to do, um, a, um, like, a like, the, all, like the bartenders were oh, all, yeah. what, they were doing like a competition. Mm -hmm. So whoever won the competition was gonna get on a billboard. They had no money to hire a photographer. They go, Deb, can you take our photo? I'm like, <laughs> I, 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 I okay, fine. And I honestly, um, had my, my dad bought me a Canon camera and I was yeah. doing this. I didn't even have any lighting, so we all took the cell phones to make the lighting. <laughs> so, so we ended up going to um, the Pepper Mill and we did the photo shoot and the photo ended up on a billboard. Oh, so why so awesome. I'm saying this and why my Deb's pick is Tahoe Blue is because they are, you know, they're, we're all family and mm -hmm. I was starting out, they were starting out and they said, Deb, can you just do this for us? We really, really, really need help. And I said, if you don't mind what's gonna come out like, <laughs> but somehow watching us there that day with everybody put their, their flat, their, their, camp, mm -hmm. their lights on from their phone, they didn't judge me. They just said, hey, let's make it work. And it worked. And so um, when we do our final cheers, I want it to be with, um, with Tahoe Blue. And we're gonna, we're gonna, when I do go out and Georgia goes out, we always say Tahoe Blue Vodka. Yes. And if they don't have Tahoe Blue, I'll say, you do have a local if I'm somewhere out of town. Yep. Um, but it's really important to me. So when you do go out, wherever city you're in, please, please, please ask for a local beverage because you really want to support them. So that's it's why we're going to cheers with that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to um, thank, again, thank both of you guys for being here. And I, do, you have a, do, you have a, do you have a favorite mix you like to mix with your Tahoe Blue? 
Oh, gosh. Well, ginger beer is always the best. <laughs> yes. With anything. Yes. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would say. Yeah. So that would be beers. a mule, right? Mm-hmm. And I mule. think when they first started, they were doing mules out of the. Oh, the, that's right. I remember and the that. Copper mug. So I don't have a copper mug, but when George We've and got I the bed next best go thing. out, we usually ask for lemon lime, but I was looking at the store and it says Betty Buzz. Yes. So do you I know about that? I didn't even know that. So brand. they are, um, it's Blake Lively's brand. <laughs> They're not local, but they no. do a lot of good work and stuff. I've seen them online. I've had it before. It's really delicious, but it's really cute branding and logos and stuff. Yeah. So they do some really oh, good advertisement is that like on their own billboards. That? Yeah. Is that like an airplane upside down? So they are down? fun that you found them. It's an and airplane then, upside yeah, down. Yeah, because her husband has the aviator gin. Oh. So it's probably, oh. they probably so have they probably a secret, a, mix. a secret mix. Yep. So you see how, this is how it works with City Talking About Town Deb. I was just gazing the aisles trying <laughs> to find something to mix with Tahoe Blue. And then I and didn't know anything yeah. about Betty Buzz or Betty Boop, whoever Betty <laughs> is, but you knew about yeah, it. And I, I had did. no idea. I was excited idea. you had it on set. I was like, oh, yeah. that's awesome. Oh, yay. So I really, I really do like that. So yeah. I am um, going to give a quote and then I love each of you to, um, say why you love our town like okay. why is it important so the quote is if you have this is perfect <laughs> i plan these if you have two friends in your lifetime you're lucky if you have one good friend you're even more lucky oh. s e hinton so thank you both for being here today as one of my two of my many of my amazing mm-hmm. friends who have helped this happen and the show get on the air and we're going to be back hopefully every single week we may do three a month but maybe four a month it depends and we are going to be doing on location events so if you'd yes, like us to exciting. come to your establishment yes, we exciting. would love to do a deb's pick where we actually come out and we film and then we will show your pick on here with that. the camera yeah. so we're going to be doing lots of different things so you got to stay tuned and follow us on social media you can go to about town deb about town deb dot com and um we have about a minute left, so let's do a cheers. Let's yes. just grab it. Can you well, share it over there? Cheers to And on your, pick on your first show Which with Dream Pilot. Oh, beginning of many. Yes. So yes. we're totally grateful. And remember, as we've said before, together we are one. Mm-hmm. I got to take a sip or it's yeah, not gotta legal, right? you got to take a right? sip. You got to take a sip. You don't want bad luck. So good. Yes. So together we are one heart and we want to be a part of your heart and we want you to be a part of our family. So really ideas, if you have like guests you would like to invite, if you want to advertise or sponsor, but really it's more about community. So we want to be your person. We want to be your set, your stage. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do one last cheers to yeah, good job, cheers. Reno and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about town deb with city talk we have britain griffith yes thank you. Butler, thank you for being thank both of you, you being my friend we will see you oh and next week we have amber hill who's been a co-host so for lovely. quite a few years with me and we're going to be and jamie yes. chapman with pineapple petty cabs She's we're incredible. talking midtown and downtown and there's a new chocolate bar going on huh? so stay tuned she'll be talking about during this chocolate <laughs> we will see you next week it's about town deb